Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we have the brand new Nexus 5. Have the white one here. Um, and wanted to go through some things uh, about KitKat and the new Google Experience Launcher. Want to just do a little uh, quick walkthrough here, showing you some of the uh, newer things, some of the things that have changed here. Now, Google Now is uh, obviously the biggest thing uh, for Google right now, and that's what this launcher is based on. Um, it's actually part of Search. However, um, I know a lot of people are thinking it's going to show up on other Nexus devices. It, it may not, at least for a while, anyhow. Um, so what they've done is, uh, out of the box, they give you, I think, two home screens. Uh, I'm going to show you how to add more in a second. But all the way to the left, um, it's kind of like taking a cue from BuzzFeed HTC. Google Now is now all the way over to the left, and that's how you'll get to it. So no matter how many home screens you have, um, you always can go swipe over to the left and there's your Google Now. Now you can still get it from here, but what happens is it doesn't come up anymore. It actually scrolls all the way to the left. So if I was over here, uh, it just shoots right over. So it doesn't matter from what page you're on. Now, so a lot of people are asking, can I turn that off? Well, you can. However, then you won't be part of Google Now anymore. So if you long press uh, here, you'll see settings for Google Now. You can actually turn it off, but that would eliminate, like I said, Google Now uh, from from being enrolled in Google Now. So you will not get any cards, you will not get any notifications or anything. Now they do have some settings here also that you'll find uh, for the for the search. Uh, you can set it for searching for apps, contacts, play movies, and TV. And uh, for voice, um, now you can actually say OK Google for searches. Um, and you have to make sure that that's checked. That's checked by default anyhow. But if it's not working, uh, you might want to check that. And um, your accounts and privacy is also over here too, which is going to be flipped on. You're going to go through that, you know, when you first turn on the device. But if you ever want to see it again. So, you know, you have your OK Google Now. Um, OK, well, as I just said it. I keep saying OK Google Now. You can see it's very responsive uh, from the Moto X when I had to say the word now after it. With this, all you have to say is, OK, Google. And there you go. You can do a search. Um, so, OK, whoops. Press the thing instead. OK, Google. Who is the President of the United States? Barack Obama is the President of the United States of America. Now you can have a continued conversation here as well, like, okay, Google, what is his wife's name? His spouse is Michelle Obama since 1992. So that works only when the uh, phone is turned on for that command. It's not going to work when it's turned off, uh, like the Moto X. Uh, but however, that's still a nice feature to be able to do that. Now, the app drawer is a little different now, whereas you get your wallpaper underneath it, so it's clear. You also don't have a quick access to the Play Store anymore, so you're going to need to do that from your icon, uh, from the Play Store icon. So, um, other than that, it's, you know, it's pretty much the same, and if you long press on anything, you know, you're going to bring it right, uh, you can bring it right into the, uh, you know, uh, onto any home screen. Now, speaking of home screens, um... The, well, I was just show you one other thing. If it's not a, a system app like email, you can also um, uninstall it. That's not anything new. Uh, so if I go in here and I pick, uh, all right, Flight Track. So I can go ahead and uh, put it on the page here or click uninstall and get app info if I want as well. Um, now, adding home screens is something that uh, is very it's not as easy as you, well, it's easy, but not easy to figure out. Uh, so you have two home screens plus your Google Now. How do you add home screens? If I long press on it, there's I can see the home screens, but there's no option to do it. All right, so this is how you do it. Very strange, but what you do is you grab uh, any app, and you just have to move it over. You can grab it from any page. And once, you, once you're at the end of your uh, second home screen there, a new home screen just comes on just like that and then you can drop it so now I have three home screens if I want to add a fourth home screen I can actually go ahead I can't actually do it with the same icon because this will be empty something has to be there so I can go ahead and grab another one a uh, same app or whatever I grab Dropbox right now and then I can actually do it from here as well um, bingo and then I'm done 
Um, and you can do this for a number of home screens. You can have tons of them. So, you know, you're not limited to five or seven. You want 20 home screens, have at it. The only negative is your your main default will always be all the way to the left just before your Google Now. That is a little, uh, you know, getting used to because usually it was a lot easier at home in, in the middle. So if you have 20 home screens, it's going to be a little harder to navigate to that 18th one, whereas at least if it was in the middle with uh, 9 or 10 on to each side, uh, you could work with that. I think the reason why they're doing that is because you're allowed an odd number of uh, home or actually an even number of home screens, and there's nowhere to put it in the middle. Um, I guess one thing that they could do is give you the option of setting which one you want to be the default. However, um, they don't uh, offer that right now. Now, if you want to get rid of a home screen, uh, then you would have to move everything off of it um, in order to do that. So if I move this off and bring it over here, I no longer have a home screen there. Um, if you want to change them around, you can do that even though you can't set the default. Just long press anywhere. And so I have here three home screens. I can just go ahead and long press here and move it right there. And now that is in the middle. And I can go ahead and move it back. Just long press whatever. You can move any of them. I can move this one. Whatever one is here as the first one will be the default. So if I move it, it's not going to change the default. Whatever I put in place there will be the default. So uh, that's uh, that's set up pretty much. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it is sometimes you figure out when you first get the phone, you're like, how do I add home screens on this thing? So I, I hope that helped. Um, now, adding widgets is, is, a, is much better now. It's back to the old school way. Used to be that you went into your app drawer and you had the widget choices here. As long as, you know, the Play Store link is gone too, but the widgets uh, tab is gone. And I, I, to me, it didn't belong there. It was always better to have it right here. So you long press here, and there you go. You can go right into your widgets and select the widget and then uh, go ahead and place it uh, you know right on the display just like you would before so and of course removing widgets is the same and uh, resizing and all that of course if you move things around just like in Jelly Bean things will slide around just so to make room for whatever you're trying to do if it can make room um, now wallpapers wallpapers is interesting because the because you're all the way to the left, getting a wallpaper with something in the center, like let's say it's a logo or something, um, a lot of people are thinking, well, it's going to be off to the side here. I want it centered because I'm not because my center page uh, home screen is not this in the center anymore. So, but it's actually not as uh, bad as you think. Uh, Google somehow is using some kind of smart uh, engine here to figure it out now. In order to add wallpapers, you uh, long press just like you would before, and then uh, you go right in the wallpapers. Now you have your choice of, of you know the stock wallpapers that are here. The live wallpapers come in at the end, which is a little different. But uh, so you have your live wallpapers there. Now, if I want to pick an image, I'm actually going to pick an image that is uh, well. I'm actually let me just show you in the gallery the image. Um, the uh, where is it? Okay, gallery. Uh, a couple of downloaded. Actually, that image is one that I'm going to try as well. I have there's my son in the center. So you would think again if you make that as a wallpaper, um, you're it's going to be off to the side and he's not going to be centered as there's no cropping um, option at all when you do the wallpaper. When I show you, uh, if I go back here, I also have in my downloads here a couple of wallpapers. Now here's uh, just some billiard balls uh, on a pool table. Again, this is the center. Now let's watch what happens here when I load um, one of these as the wallpaper. I'm going to go ahead, pick an image, and we're going to pick from gallery. And I'm going to go into the download section for now. And there is the, um, the uh, billiard balls. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And it's centering it for me. Um, well, you really can't tell right now because you're like, all right, just like this is on an older version of Android, this is going to be the center. But what's going to happen is this is actually going to go all the way to the left rather than the wallpaper, you know, starting out over here uh, and having the ball starting there. So watch. Going to go ahead, and there's no other option here for cropping. So just going to go ahead and set the wallpaper. 
and there it is. I'm all the way to the left, but the billiard balls are also. So I'm actually moving from the right. So my main default home screen, at least it is centered. It's quite interesting. Now, the other thing that's also kind of cool is that when I go into the wallpapers, it's already uh, an option there because I already used it. Um, I don't have to go back in to pick an image to find it. If I switch wallpapers, it'll actually be in there. Now I can long press it here and delete it and take it out of my list. I can do that as well. Now, going back to this one here that I was using, this wood one, uh, as you can see, this is how it is. For some reason, it, it recognizes not that this doesn't need to be centered it's looking at the photo and it's seeing it as symmetrical so it doesn't do it so i'm going to go ahead and and put this in and that is exactly how it is all the way to the left on that particular image it's quite interesting um kind of like actually one of their stock ones that, that comes with the device uh right here this mountainside you can see it starts up high and low uh, the same thing, if I put that in, it's going to start out all the way to the left and then work its way down as I scroll through. Let me just quickly show you that picture of my son. Um, so I'm going to pick a new image and go to gallery and there it is. So that's the image and right away it's putting him, um, it's going to put him, uh, his picture all the way to the left and cut off everything to the left uh, just like that and again the uh, wallpapers that's going to become a choice now uh, that, so if I switch around wallpapers that is that is a current choice that I can use and again long press on it to delete it so um, you know that works out pretty well um, now the lock screen widget let's talk about that lock screen widgets. Now, you, you, when you first get KitKat or Nexus 5, you're going to be like, well, where's lock screen widgets? Now, I'm not sure how this is going to work, actually, if you've already upgrading from a, from a Jelly Bean device uh, and you're using lock screen widgets. We're not sure. I would imagine that it's going to be on, but for whatever reason with this, uh, it's not on by default. Uh, that you have to actually turn it on. So in order to do that, uh, you go in here to Settings, and you go down to security. Now this is actually a smart place to put it uh, because widgets are going to provide information on your lock screen and if you have a security lock screen you know it's still going to be there so you're going to decide you know do you want to enable those widgets if somebody picks up your phone. So here it is enable widgets and all you have to do is check that and you're done. It's uh, you're good to go and you will now have uh, be able to add lock screen widgets so if I go over here, then I can go ahead and add in any one that I want, just like you would before. So it's just a matter of enabling it. Now, the other thing about the lock screen is now, you might have noticed this, you can quickly go to the camera here as well, and you can also uh, bring up Google Now right away from the lock screen. I don't think that was there in the past. I haven't used the stock uh, Android in a while, um, but I believe that is new as well. Um, the other thing uh, just to mention new um, that you, I guess would be considered part of the launcher in a way, the settings, you now have a location um, setting uh, which is, allows you to for saving the battery. Uh, it's going to tell you recent location uh, request and you can also change the mode to high accuracy um, which uses the GPS, Wi-Fi and mobile networks and you can also get into battery saving uh, where you eliminate uh, in this particular one it's just Wi-Fi and mobile networks and the device only GPS GPS only uh, for saving battery. The default will be the high accuracy, of course. So um, that's pretty much it. We have some other videos to show you some other stuff like printing and stuff like that um, on KitKat. But I just wanted to give you a good overview and some of the things and some of the how-tos in uh, using the launcher and uh, different settings there and wallpapers and all that good stuff. So uh, look for some more stuff. Look for our full review as well on the Nexus 5. Uh, so far we're liking it. We're lo loving KitKat and um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.